Cheers, mate. That's life. Long time no see. Getting back into workshop mode, even though it has 35 degrees outside. A little bit sticky. Yes. Cheers. I have to show you something. I disassembled an engine yesterday. It is a bit of a project. An already closed M260 engine. And I want to show you quickly all the fails I found. If you have damages like this, it's not even anymore. So you have to always use rasp and round all the edges. That's normal. Someone used epoxy. Broke through at the transfer ports. This is not normal. <laughs> That's really bad. There was a big pile of epoxy, but always do the hammer test. Tap, 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 and it came off. Same here, top top top, and it fell off, so it was not heat up enough. Anyways, next to the cylinder transfers when it's that big and such an expensive engine. Better go well the engine guys. Something happened here. There are bolts instead of screwing on here. Wait, come on. Here, 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 here. What is going on here? This will never last. This will fall off. That 64 millimeter stroke and that uh, king valid fits, you need to widen the bore and someone broke through here. That is the small half. Someone did not exchange the rubbers for the kickstarter. <laughs> I mean, they cost a fortune. This kickstarter spoke. It is completely defect. You're gonna ruin your knees with this. It was inside the engine. That seems to be a Piaggio, which is fine. It's a little bit rusty because it was stored in a workshop, which is not really dry. We have King Wheel really Crank. It's 480 euros. And it is also rusty. Well, look at that. I'm sure the stump is not sandpapered with the flywheel. We have the special Woodruff key of the King Wheel really and this. I'm curious how the static balancing is. This bearing is its just an 8, not a 9. It is rusty and you cannot move it anymore. Someone did beat out here the stoppers for the bearing, so this is already fixed. Then, that's an original 65 primary, and as you see at the rivets on both sides, it was never renewed. The primary trick was not used, because you tighten the screw when the clutch cover is on and the security is missing. That's just not here. Someone destroyed the thread here and just put a long screw in. Where the thread is already also damaged. He did that on all three positions. Usually, and it's still M6, usually go for seven for the stronger one. Yeah, minor things. Edge of breaking pads. Not rounded. Shaft seal seat has a groove, which means a rubber sits in there because the rubber grows into the groove and then holds the shaft seal. Of course a metal one was in. It was somehow glued in and so I barely could remove it. And I'm not even sure if someone did fiddle around here and lowered the whole section here because look at this. Same here, the edge is not rounded. Tooth washing missing here. Original rivets not renewed. Shaft seal seat damaged. You take a new bearing and you do the test. Can you slide it on or not? And you can. And that's not supposed to be like that because you need to pull it in the bearing. Means the seat is damaged. In general, Piaggio gearbox is fine, but look what I found. Some bling bling was bought. The art gearbox. And, no, original gears are boring, so you have to make holes in it, then everything gets better. Five horsepower, if you make the gears lighter, that you then have a predetermined braking spot here, this line, look at that, how thin it gets here. That doesn't matter, it has to look different than original, because original is boring. That's the MRP, I just asked mates online, they were happy with it. Never used one, never saw the need of using one. Classic here as well. 
it was just this little beam was removed but not the edge in the rounding and let the clutch cover speak to you the clutch who was in this engine not the one we'll see in a second did stripe the clutch cover mains never separated 100 percent never worked always remove this and in the edge oh yeah another bling bling thing is that uh, boring original look so you always need to have something else what i found is this interesting thing here push rod connected to the plate three two one look at this that is an interesting clutch isn't it instead of screw lock you can also just use epoxy i mean why not yeah why not so this pressure plate sits loose here this is held by the thing yeah it is the whole clutch is something really interesting it is ka i remember many years back that something popped up look at there's just a little tolerance here one millimeter if you want to exchange the springs you have to open these torque screws here not funny then it is still using original old thin plates cosa plates the cork ones why would you do that that contact area of the linings and plate package that is a little bit little the area and the shape is also not ideal it already does not look good here anymore why would you do that that was welded onto the basket to 23 so you cannot exchange it the base plate is not high enough because because the highest the tallest thing here that is the pushing this clutch does not work at all really bad design mate just because you have access to cnc tools and and uh, a metal workshop or so on that's way doesn't mean you have to design and make something this is really bad this must be a very early proto which was sadly sold to others which is not nice yeah it is a pretty funny engine case a cherry on top someone is seriously selling these with a two little bore they're a set of five six and they don't fit the bore is too small who i mean what is wrong with people why would you sell something like that i'm gonna proceed with this i mean owner was not really aware that it is such a shit bag it's gonna be a malossi vr1 we need a new drive shaft and of course uh, rivets will be renewed with the dirty and a new clutch it's gonna be a 10 mole with a 24 gear cock yeah, and then we just hope that one day this will run properly it will it's just he bought it used and i just fucked an engine completely up and then sold it to others if you screw something up throw it away hang it in a workshop on the ceiling whatever but don't give it to others hmm. it's cam it's stealing money and time cheers mates don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Beast! Bist du denn, was ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs> Look at this, there is another kinky engine, even with the mighty gong. Oh, someone made a 62mm MHR Malossi reed valve, totally not needed, because if you go for a reed valve, you of course use a Quattrini, not an MHR. It's way weaker than any Quattrini. Gonna be a separate video. Cheers!